guys, how's it going today? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. We're going to have an outdoor fire pit here in the backyard. We're going to be using the Yosemite Dutch oven to cook some beef stew. We're also going to have many of cocktails, right honey? We sure are. We got Mr. Reboy Knife Works Ferro Rod right here. We're going to be using his awesome ferro rod right here. Check out that craftsmanship, man. If you haven't got one of his ferro rods, I recommend getting one. There it goes. It's super windy out today, let me tell you. This is the windiest it's ever been, but I'm going to add a little more fat wood to this. My shavings blew all over on the first shot. So it's super windy. I better feed some more wood on top of this fire, babe. Yep. I got it r really far down in this hole. I got a couple shavings I just made right now real quick to feed in there couple over here this should start it for sure it must be like I don't know what 25 mile per hour winds or something yeah do you got that feather stick hand me that feather stick honey so I got this awesome feather stick my wife this made before hand so I'll put that feather stick in there get this fire going yeah let me see that new hat you got Grants Forest Brooks, baby. Made in Sweden. I recommend getting one of their axes. Top of the line axes with awesome craftsmanship as well. Okay, we got the fire built, guys. It's roaring now. Well, it will be roaring in a minute. Fire's going pretty good. It's only windy out here. 25 mile per hour winds, right, babe? Yeah. Are your legs on fire or what? They were. Yeah. Good thing he changed, huh? Yeah. I'm almost about to put shorts on as well. Listen to that fire. It's incredible. So we built this teepee over here. Right here. These are where our sweet peas are going to grow up right there. And here's a bird's eye view of some of the flowers we got here with the artichokes and shrubs. Got our firewood right there all stacked nice and neat. So everything's coming along pretty good, right babe? So we got all the meat in here right now with a bunch of onions. It's simmering on there pretty well right now. Um, my wife's going to be adding some beef broth. Carrots, celery, and potatoes. Okay, dump that in there. I would just do half though, honey, so we could add the other stuff. Just in case, we can always add the extra later if we had to. Okay, it's all in there, guys. Look at that. Look at the colors. It's looking pretty rich so far. And do you just want to let that simmer over the fire real quick, babe? Yeah. So it doesn't lose its heat value? You know? Yeah, we'll let it cook a little bit. Yeah, let it cook a little bit. Let the juices splash up on all those vegetables and we should be in good shape, right? Yep. I'm going to be adding some corn right here and some green beans right there. Let's bring this over to the Dutch oven and dump in the corn. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at all that corn going, guys. Now the green beans. Let's add those green beans. Yeah. Look at that color in there. I'm telling you, this shit is going to be off the chain big time. So we're going to stir this in here real lightly, real quick, so everything cooks evenly. Look at the colors in that, Jana. Doesn't that look good? We got so much food in here. It's like, where's the fucking army? <laughs> you know? Look at the colors, though. I like those colors. He did good with all the vegetables honey yeah he diced up those carrots nice those potatoes nice everything's looking good look at that turn that to it's so hot over the fire you know you just gotta stir it way away from you I'm gonna put the lid back on now okay so everything cooks really nice okay baby Yep, that's Yosemite National Park Dutch Oven right there. 
I'm gonna flatten that carrot with the lid real quick here. Bam, there goes that carrot. <laughs> there we go. So babe, what did you get there? The first on green onions out of the garden. Nice. Those look good, huh? Told you they were ready. They're almost ready for the stew tonight and everything. <laughs> they could be. But I think we'll wait another week until we use the Dutch oven and then we'll be um, putting some of these onions in our next recipe, right? Yep. So what you gonna do, wash those off now? Yep. Cool. Oh, those are nice onions. Oh yeah, look at those. Pretty cool. We already got onions in. The beginning of spring actually, right? Yeah. Look at that beef stew just talking to us all day. Ready to be eaten. Been on for what, like two hours now with the lid off and on. But a really high flame we had at first and now it's down to this, you know, basic ash. Got a little flame going under there with the little pieces of... With a few sticks that I just added here and there, I add a few sticks as we cook the beef stew. Babe, the attack of the hawks, here they come. Holy smoke, they're all over the place. Look at them come in. They're after our beef stew. And that zombie. And that damn zombie. They're after that dead zombie. Look at all these hawks, look at them go. They're all over the place. They're after our stew, damn it. Get out the gun, honey. Look at him. <laughs> there he goes. That damn zombie, that dead zombie must still be on our property. That's what they're after, that dead zombie, right? <laughs> yep. They gotta be. There goes another one. Another one. Holy smokes, there's another one. They're after that damn zombie, honey. I'm telling you right now. So I let the Dutch oven cool down with the stew in it for about 10 minutes now. We're going to pull it off the concrete pad and be dumping it into this bowl right here, guys. Let me find one of the legs. You ready, babe? Got it. Look at all that stew. Doesn't that look delicious? And that is super hot. All the potatoes are cooked. The celery the what else carrots corn, corn green beans green beans onions onions and the dutch oven held up pretty good this time i'm just gonna scrape some of this stuff down try not to burn a hole in this table or nothing a little bit of it stuck this time that's because we had a lot in there but i'm just gonna show you real quick how well this Dutch oven is getting seasoned after I dump this in here. Look at that. Not too bad, huh, babe? Looks good. Pretty good. Look at that. Look at the steam come off of that. Nice and hot. And that's because it's like 25 mile per hour winds out here. <laughs> Can you feel the steam? Is it fogging up the lens and everything, babe? Too bad you don't have smell-o-vision. Mmm, smell-o-vision. Well, you can buy smell-o-vision for $19.95. <laughs> it's down in the description box. You just click on it, <laughs> click on the link, and it'll cost you $19.95 for smell-o-vision. Mmm. 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 <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's some tactical stew right there. Beef stew, guys. Awesome. Turned out killer. Now we're going to sit down out here and enjoy our beef stew by the fire pit. So here's the beef stew up close, guys. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? I got an Alaskan amber ale to go with my beef stew. And my wife over here has her beef stew. Champagne. And champagne as well, babe. And then right here, we have some garlic bread to go with our beef stew. So it turned out really good. We tried a couple bites in the kitchen. Now we're going to 
sit out here and enjoy the beef stew. My mm. fire pit. So let's dig into this beef stew, babe. See beef how it is. I already did. You already did? Mm -hmm. mm. It's still really hot. Yep. But it really turned out good. I want to thank all you guys for watching our channel. We really appreciate you guys tuning into our channel like every week and everything. Um, you guys have a great afternoon. Until the next video, peace out. Justin and Jana here.